Hey guys, I'm not as happy as I usually am. I'm just warning you, I'm not. I had another run in, had to call my attorney, had to call the police. I'm not at liberty to share details because this is an ongoing settlement, it's a litigation case, but I just need your prayer. So, um, here's the deal. For those of you who know me, you know what this is. Um, but I'm not going to say anything online. I'm not going to give anybody any room. Guys, you got to stay above reproach. You don't give anybody any room to know what's going on when you're involved in something like that. So listen to this. This is I, I decided to do my intel because I have a 4 o'clock. That's the only time I have to do it today. And don't forget, please join me on Margaritas and Manifestations. It will cheer me up if you join me, okay? Because I'm tired of doing all this stuff for the kingdom and getting attacked by the enemy constantly. So thank you. Anyways, we're all we're all brothers and sisters. I'm just sharing with you guys. I can't I can't put on a happy face if I'm so close to being mad. But then I was sad and I took it to God and he was speaking to me through other prophets that the miracle's coming. So don't worry about a thing. So I'm not worrying. Don't you worry about me either. Just know that I am fighting through this. I was going to do I wanted to do some extra content for my members at all levels. Today I was going to do three videos like I did last time my husband was at work. Couldn't do it because the enemy and I didn't uh, it just uh, pray for me. You know, when you get angry, it's okay. Jesus turned over the tables. Anger's not bad. It's it's whether or not you sin. I did not sin. I followed the law. I followed the law. I had to call the police, I had to talk to the police, then I had to talk to my attorney, took up most of my afternoon. It's very annoying. I'm just saying. If you can relate, comment down below. But we always, God always leads us in victory. I'm still fasting. I'm going to fast until my Marguerite's Mysteries tonight because I need God's intervention in this so we can be free of this. I'm just so done. Okay, so the RV is the only way we'd be free. We have a mortgage. We can't move. We've tried. We've looked at other houses, and it, the financing always falls through because we still have a mortgage and because every, every liberal wants to live here. I don't have anything against, well, yeah, I do. Well, whatever. You know what I mean. <sighs> Sorry. So look, I scoured the news lines uh, from Sandman's Intel, you know, his news source. Nothing about the RV or the economy. It's all about what's going on in Turkey. So I'm going to read to you what's going on with Turkey. It's really good news about their economy, but they're silent. It's crazy. But I will go to the other. I'll do your summary like I always do. But thank you for listening. I am apologize. I will put timestamp down before. If you don't want to hear me, then whatever. I just need prayer, guys. So on Monday evening, because it's already Monday evening in Iraq, Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan, Erdogan yeah, landed in the Kurdistan region of Iraq after a long journey in Baghdad. Kurdish President Nechevran Barzani, Prime Minister Mazul Barzani, and government officials received Erdogan at the Erbil International Airport. Turkish and Kurdish officials are set to engage in discussions coming several key topics during President Erdogan's visit to Kurdistan, including focusing on the security situation concerning the PKK and the resumption of oil exports via the Seyan port. Erdogan's visit, his first to Iraq in 13 years, praise God, um, commenced with a series of official meetings in Baghdad where Turkish delegates signed agreements and memorandums of understanding with Iraqi counterparts. Now, their under memorandums or understandings are like contracts. They have an understanding. It's in paper. It's a contract. Why? Because contracts only have two requirements, an offer and an acceptance. If both parties are signing it, it's just like a contract. That's why you got to be careful about anything you sign. Listen to me when I say this, stay free, guys. When we go to exchange, you need to stay free. If you want the freedom strategies that God gave me to keep you free so the, the money comes into God's kingdom instead of in the wicked world's hands, you will email me down below. I'll give you the things. So I'm really excited about this, guys. Memorandums of understanding are being signed, probably because there's about to be a rate change and they can't put it all in until it's official, right? But they can't say it, right? So this is really good news. I hope you will agree with me that this is really flipping good news. The other article was um, Iraqi PM reveals details of strategic agreement with Turkey. So that's what he revealed. So it says the Iraqi prime minister um, unveiled details of the strategic agreement with Turkey on Monday, highlighting that Iraq has signed agreements aimed at modernizing irrigation systems that will span 10 years and have a clear impact, especially concerning Iraq's water share. During a joint press conference with Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan, al-Sudani stated a quad, qu 
quad quadripart memorand quadripartite memorandum of understanding four parts has been signed today outlining the principles of the development road the development road emphasizing that the road will be economically transformative for the region he further highlighted that the road will bolster security and stability in the area those are the watchwords with iraq stability and security in the area serving not only as a means to shorten distances but also as a bridge connecting the peoples and cultures of the region addressing bilateral security concerns al sudani underscored the unity of security between turkey and iraq stating that both countries security is inseparable regarding water issues al sudani stressed the signing of agreements aimed at modernizing the irrigation systems indicating a significant impact over a decade particularly regarding iraq's water allocation in terms of security al sudani reiterated iraq's commitments to its constitution affirming that iraq will not allow its territory to be used as a launching pad for aggression against its neighbors. Wow! Here's up to a leader following their constitution. Commenting on the situation in Gaza, the Iraqi Prime Minister asserted that Jerusalem is an Islamic symbol, symbol and any desecration of Palestinian sanctities is unacceptable. You can understand that. That's their religion. President Erdogan and his accompanying high-ranking delegation arrived in Baghdad earlier today for a one-day visit after a 13-year hiatus. Following the conclusion of his meetings with Iraqi officials, Erdogan is scheduled to visit Erbil, the capital of the Kurdistan region. He was welcomed at a Baghdad international airport by the al Sudani with a ceremony that included 21 gun salutes, which is a country's highest honor. Praise God. So that's all that's in the news that I could find. If you could find anything else, please comment down below. Now I'm going to go over to our, our typical what I do, which is give you a summary of everybody's intel because I think everybody needs to hear a concise summary when you work as hard as my husband and I do. Let me tell you, it wasn't easy for me having to warn my husband that I had to call the police and not to go freaky when he hears our address on this on the loudspeaker. Um, Listen, uh, this is Tish Wash. Um, I've heard her before, or him, whoever that is. Um, Al Alak did give a speech this morning, quote, regarding the issue of financial reform in Iraq. Al Alak explained Iraq has a multifaceted program in this framework as the first aspect is harmony, adaptation, the adoption of international standards and financial transactions. Militiaman, Al Sudani has rocked it. They showcased this countries like they've never done before. We've never seen this. Anybody that's been in this investment since 2003 has never witnessed what they're witnessing today. If they're going to come out at 1310 Dinar to try to do all things that they're doing right now, the world would just be like they were in Kuwait, crickets. This is powerful and wonderful. Um, Nader comes in. Everybody's like, hey, Nader, you're there for the big announcement. There's no announcement, he says. There's not big screens. They're going to come out with a new exchange rate, maybe a little smaller for now, yes. You see, they talking about changing the exchange rate again. Yeah, they're going to do it soon. We'll see what it is. It could be a thousand. Remember, we said a thousand, and then they eliminate the three zeros. You're going to have to be patient. Now, remember, People in my community are educated that it's going to come off the exchange rate. It's not, they're not just going to lop, they're not going to cut the currency. They're not going to lop the currency. It's not like that. We here, according, all, John Dowling agrees with me. Um, I think even Mark Z agrees with me and Frank 26 agrees with me. So I'm just saying. Um, so, oh, so Frank 26. Ah. Good timing, Frank. I love your intel. Sudani returned back to Iraq because he wanted to make a speech, but it turns out that the time has passed on and it was the, through a lock. But a lock is in the United States of America. How can he make a speech today on the ground? Reports Firefly. We believe this is a pre recorded interview by a lock. They believed it was pre recorded. Did you guys watch it? I didn't watch it. I was too busy dealing with a jerk. Um, Frank 26, Iraq boots on the ground, Firefly, television saying that Alak, the CBI governor, is going to stay in Washington, D.C. for a few extra days. They're saying to us that he's following up on what Sudani was doing, Frank. Now that Sudani is back, he's going to start the process of explaining to you Iraqi citizens everything on how you're going to be receiving your lower notes, um, how you're going to use the ATM machines, how you're going to get, they're going to get everybody in the banks, guys. Blockchain, blockchain, blockchain. That's where everybody's headed globally. That's how they can say they're security and stable because they will have transparency to seed everybody's money. You understand? You should be a Miracle Manifestation member to, to know what that really means for all of us in our freedoms. Amen. Um, and, and Mountain Goat talked about the oil and gas law at Dooms in the background and it'll resurface again. I think they can exchange the... the uh, just like I don't think the budget matters, I really don't think the budget matters. It does matter that they did a three-year budget. They've never done that, but they've done a lot of things they've never done before. So if you agree with me, comment down below. It's high time for this to happen. I think the warfare against me personally has ramped up because 
it's happening. Amen. New level, new devil, baby. I'm going to be elevated. I'm not letting this stuff, because this is the past. This happened this afternoon. I'm done. I have let it go. Will you agree with me? I am letting it go. Please pray for me. I'll see you on Margaritas and Manifestations around 6 p.m. tonight. It might be earlier. I might need one earlier. I'm just saying. Talk to you later. Margaritas and Manifestations. We're going to manifest this tonight. If you're in the Iraqi Dinar, you should be on that. Amen. Just bring a, a soda if you don't drink. Okay? I'm going to only do one margarita anyway. It's not like it's a drinking fest. Okay? I'm talking about manifestation. Have a cocktail. Review the day. Let the stress go of the day. Didn't get to see my horses. No time. Too busy dealing with stuff I shouldn't have had to deal with. Right? But that's the way God works. It's always worse right before it gets really good. So trust me on this. Amen. The breakthrough is done. The Iraqi dinar is done. If you agree, comment amen. Bye.